This portion is brought to you by Mercury Drug. Nakasisiguro gamot ay laging bago. Glutathione, nature's most powerful antioxidant. Ano nga ba meron ang tripeptide na ito at napa-controversial niya? Two years ago, pinagtalunan sa media ang effectiveness na isang brand ng glutathione tablets. Ngayon naman, intravenous glutathione injections ang issue. Ayon sa BPAD, may kasamang idudulot ito sa katawan. But, doctors and patients swear to its efficacy and effectiveness. So, what is glutathione? Sinner or safe? Glutathione is an element that is naturally occurring. No? Isa siyang natural na bagay sa ating katawan. No? It is composed of triamino peptides, specifically glutamine, glutamate, and cysteine. So put together, ang tawag dito is glutathione. It is synthesized by the liver and it is being used by practically in all our cells. But ang pinaka-highest concentration is liver, brain, heart, and kidney. And of course, the muscles also. Uh, ang glutathione is uh, as a naturally occurring element, eh, kailangan ng katawan natin to as an antioxidant or scavenger. No? Alam natin, everybody is quite aware na meron tayong sistema na paglinis ng ating katawan. No? Ang ating system has the capacity to clean itself. It has the capacity, it has the capacity to heal itself and treat itself. No? Nasabi natin na uh, for health, it is necessary. Siyempre, conversely, pagkulang, disease can actually occur. Therefore, uh, importante yon. Ngayon, uh, naturally, uh, sinisynthesize nga ito sa liver. So, ang mga elements to put it together would come normally from our diet, from vegetables, no? Especially, pag na, na ingest natin ng mga uh, nutrients like uh, amino peptides, ipoprocess niya ng liver and to become uh, glutathione. So, that's one way of oral, no? Another way, of course, glutathione per se, intravenous. To me kasi, as I use it, in healthy aging. Again, ito na yung matinatawag natin na necessary or targeted population. Ginagamit ko sa mga diabetic persons. No? They are generally healthy, yet they want to be better. But not specifically for to become fair. No? That's not something that I use. No? Hindi ko ginagamit ito para mapaputi. For a more comprehensive report, we interviewed doctors from different specialties conducting glutathione intravenous injections for various indications. Well, usually, patients would come to me saying, Doc, gusto ko pong pumuti. Okay? So, what we do, we have to explain to them initially and first of all na ito ay hindi talaga pampaputi, kundi an antioxidant, which is ang accidental finding is a lightening effect. So, in aesthetics, nagiging lightening effect siya. Um, glutathione intravenous has been in the market since 2003 or 2004, no? It was first um, introduced in the market by a group of, uh, this is a certified company way back, no? In Quezon City na, accredited naman siya talaga. And this was the pharma that introduced this gluta IV to us. So, it was way back 2003 or 2004, if I'm not mistaken. So, since then, ang tagal na talaga. Pwede naman po talaga magkaroon ng allergic reaction, even sa mga simpleng gamot, gaya ng paracetamol, amoxicillin, mga simpleng gamot lang po yan, pwede talagang magkakaroon tayo ng reaction ng rashes. Kaya nga po, ang advice namin, kung kayo'y magpapasaksak ng IV glutathione o kung ano mang gamot, magpapaskin testing muna po. At ang pinaka-advisable talaga ay pumunta kayo sa inyong doktor. Wala pong overdose ang glutathione. In fact, nagagawa po siya inside our body. And hindi po masama kung magsusupplement pa po tayo. Actually, I have a patient na hindi ito nabun nabubuntis. So, I tried giving her um, glutathione as an antioxidant. So, trinay ko to na ibigay sa kanya. Then, after ilang session or pagkabigay ko ng glutathione, she came back and uh, she had uh, with her the positive result of the pregnancy. So, uh, okay, dito sa glutathione as an antioxidant, uh, this patient of mine is uh, having um, elevated blood chem results. After, after giving the glutathione, 
uh, sinubukan kong i-monitor yung blood chem results niya and it's uh, it's I'm happy and the patient's happy kasi bumaba yung mga uh, blood chem result niya especially for the cholesterol. Maintaining Boracay clean and litter-free is a very challenging task. Material Recovery Facility is a project for the residents and tourism-related establishments in Boracay. MRF, or Material Recovery Facility, recycle and reuse the solid waste of the island. It is supported by the No Segregation, No Collection Rule. Good morning po! Para sa ating health trip, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa MRF or Materials Recovery Facility. At ngayong umaga po, kasama po natin ang operations manager ng facility ito, si Mr. Glenn Sacapano. Good morning po, Mr. Glenn. Uh, magandang umaga po sa lahat ng nanood sa Generation RX sa uh, Barangay Balabag ng MRF. Paano po ba nabuo itong MRF na ito? Uh, MRF po ay ito'y batas na ginawa noong 2000, RA 9003 at lahat ay na-required na lang buong barangay na magkaroon ng MRF facilities at hindi lang barangay, pati municipality. Uh, bali, ano pong ano, focus nito? Anong ginagawa niya para sa ansya? Kasi po ang nangyayari dito sa MRF na at required yan sa local government code at uh, nagkaroon kami ng problema dito sa ILA noong 2003 pinipilit ng barangay na dapat ibigay yung obligasyon ng barangay para ma maayos yung ano ng basura sa bawat barangay Paano po ang naging sistema? So, sino po nangungulikta ng basura? Noong una po, nung nangungulikta dito yung ano, volunteer po nag-start kami sa volunteer na 40 volunteer dito sa barangay ko at lahat ng establishment tumulong sapagkat po ang barangay walang sa part na ay pasildo sa mga tao namin dito sa Barangay Level. Dapat bago kang magbigay ng basura, segregated at hindi pwedeng magbigay sa kolektor na hindi segregation po. As hindi tinatanggap ng kolektor pag hindi segregated? Hindi po. Talaga titikitan ka. Kasi yung basura, mayroon tayong trabaho, yung barangay mayroong obligasyon lalo na sa bio at saka recycling, ano, recycling, na sa Barangay Level yan po. Apo. At dito naman, pati sinama na rin ng barangay, imbis na residual, nagkaroon kami ng production dito lalo na sa breaking mix black eh, dapat residual yan at ngayon ginagawa ng barangay label po. MRF or Material Recovery Facility recycles items such as plastic, glass, aluminum, and paper which are being collected and sold, while biodegradable waste recovered are being turned into compost. Material Recovery Facility Project preserves the island and create micro and small enterprises through the use of recycled materials. Sir Glenn, anong gusto niyo ipaabot sa ating manonood para maging mas successful itong MRF niyo? Uh, gusto na ipaabot dito sa nanonood, lalo na dito sa isla ng Buracay, na sana huwag silang titigil habang na-implement natin yung 9003 ng MRF ng Balabag at sa lahat ng buong Pilipinas sana ay maging alert tayo dito sa ano ng basura at ito ay MRF at required po sa buong barangay at sana huwag tayong magkalimot sa barangay level po. Maraming salamat. Kaya naman sigaw ng lahat, Para sa Boracay ako! For Boracay, I will! Para sa Boracay ako! For Boracay, I will! Memory loss, signs of aging, weak immune system, sa bilis ng panahon, hindi mo namamalayang na abuso na iyong katawan. Buti na lang may Circulant 4-in-1 with 4 herbs na tumutulong para sa overall good blood circulation. Ginkgo Biloba that aids in enhancing memory and concentration. Lemon Balm that helps normalize sleeping patterns. Garlic Oil that helps strengthen the immune system. And Hawthorne Berry that helps promote youthful glow. Circulant helps you look and feel young. Circulant! <laughs> Robust enhances male potency. May apat na agent herbs na nagpapataas ng libido ng mga lalaki. Astig. Available in Mercury Drug and all leading drugstores nationwide. Introducing Organic Acai Berry Drink. Packed with powerful antioxidants and health nutrients that promote overall beauty and wellness. Available on the following drugstores. For inquiries, call 0922-888-7883.